Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back. Today is November 4th, 2019 and I took this drone flight yesterday, November 3rd, just before sunset. There was a bad wind as far as getting out and sitting, although I am starting to get a little anxious, so I thought I'd kind of see who's out here before sunset. And generally speaking, with another 50 minutes to an hour to go, you can double probably what we're going to see here. But let's see how good your eyes are. There's several bucks. I think there's two bucks right in here. In between, um, there's a patch of deer here. And then in this next plot, I think there's a buck where you could see the white antlers there. So I will pause a few times and uh, zoom in a little bit. But if you have a smartphone, I believe you can also zoom in. Um, this is full 4K here. So I haven't done this for quite a while. I've been wanting to do it like in an evening just to kind of see, you know, what deer are out here. So this is the long strip here that just recently started coming up, but surprisingly I'm not seeing any deer in this one here at all. Uh, moving across here to this other long strip, uh, yeah, you can clearly see um, probably four or five deer, probably a couple does and three or four fawns. But interestingly enough, when you saw my vlog the other day where I was trimming a stand out, it's right here in this cedar tree. So I do have a stand right there with the good north wind. I hope to hunt that at least one of these days anyways. So this is my triangle plot here. And I don't see anyone in this plot at all. And I'm trying to stay way high enough not to affect any of the deer. A couple of them kind of ran a little bit, but most of them didn't pay any attention whatsoever. Now this is the plot right behind the house. So let's take a look here. Okay, let's pause this for a minute. I see at least nine deer, maybe ten that I can um, count. One, two, three. This one I'm not sure of right here, so four, five, six, seven, here's two of them here, eight, nine, and this last one here, number ten, is a buck. And you see that little row there, it's actually a little dividing line in the middle of the field. Um, coincidentally my stand is here, but that row is about thirty yards. So I try to plant some kind of row of something in there so I have a range indicator. But again, the wind was bad, which is why I'm not out there. I try to be very careful um, and hunt very carefully with the right winds of that, unless I know a big buck's going to be in an area at a certain time from intel. So it was about this point that I realized I had forgot to check out um, actually a couple of my deeper woods micro plots. So we'll quick spin around here. Um, the house, everything's looking good. And I'm also going to talk about this new cover here in just a minute to give you a good visual on how we are trying to improve the property. Um, by looking at some of the things that it was needing, particularly cover, short growth cover. So this is one of my uh, kind of deeper woods plots. I don't see anybody home in this one at all. I kind of look back on the first go around you could see it a little bit in there and I didn't see anybody during that one either so I think there's still two bucks visible right here in this spot even though we went over it once I think there's one on the long skinny field there to the right of the high lines and I think there's still another one in here in this little pocket field right there north of that watering hole but it's hard to tell for sure, but I know I saw one on the first go around. I saw the white antler sticking out and there was a deer body there. And a couple things I'd like to point out here while we've got the aerial. This all used to be farm field. This entire thing, basically what we're looking at, used to just be open farm field. So I am slowly but surely implementing new patches of cover, permanent cover. So starting up here, this is going to be a new block of cover, and I'm using different types of cover, but the point is that it's all new cover. This, this whole strip right here is all new cover since we have moved here, and this strip of cover I'm making wider so that it's more useful um, 
barrier here between these two food plots. And out here in the farm field is another big, big block of future cover that we've started on this year. And over here there's more cover. So the cover is going to allow for more security for the wildlife, places for where I could kind of sneak around. Um, but then when they're using the food plots, you know, here, here, or here, there's there's barriers in between so that if you bust out one field, the other ones may not be affected at all. So thanks for joining me on this strategic scouting mission. It does help, especially when I'm limited to how many times I can get out and what stands I can use. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Oh yeah, well, one last thing. Down here, all of that area that I just circled is all new cover. Um, part of it is loblolly planting. There's other wild tree plantings. And then there's going to be natural regen. So that's also going to help with the uh, south end of our property providing more cover that is missing or at least was missing when we purchased the property so thanks again until next time capper out